Tigers hosting the Orioles, and both of these teams are minus 110 on the money line. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And the Tigers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 185, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one run, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow, and I don't imagine how many people are going to be watching the Tigers game when... You know, the Lions will be on the same thing with the Orioles game. The Orioles have pretty much got the, I don't want to say have the East wrapped up, but, you know, playoff baseball, Ravens football, it'll be interesting. It's supposed to be 76 degrees, 8 mile an hour winds blowing in, and no rain. Neither pitcher pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. Head to head, the Orioles are 8-2, and two, the home team 6-4, and four, the favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The favorite winning by multiple runs, laying a run and a half, would be six and four. There have been three one run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is six and four, and the under at eight and a half runs also six and four. And shop around for the lines. Each sports book has a different price, and the half run is the difference between winning and losing an over under. So, like I said, just shop around. The Orioles are two and three in Povich's last five starts. The over is hitting his last four. The over is four and one. Five and a third innings pitched, 6.8 hits, 3.2 earned runs, 5.4 strikeouts. One walk, 0.8 home runs. He gave up two home runs in his last start. 86.8 pitches per game, 17.3 pitches per inning. The Tigers are 3-2 and two in Montero's last five starts. The over is hitting his last two. Five and two-thirds innings pitched. 4.6 hits, two earned runs, 4.2 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, 0.4 home runs, 86.2 pitches per game, and 16 pitches per inning. So he's pitching a little bit better than Povich, but Povich has the better overall team. At least right now. The Orioles are 2-2 two and two in their last four. Eight runs, eight runs. Five runs in a win. Three runs in a loss. Shut out in a loss. And then four runs in a win. And I apologize for the blabbermouth dog in the background. And the Tigers are 2-2 two and two in their last four games. 11 runs, six runs, one run, and then six runs. Seven runs in a win. Two runs in a loss. One run in a win. And then two runs in a loss. To me, this is... It's just that the Orioles are a better team. I'm going to take the Orioles with the money line. I will take the Orioles laying the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.